Greetings, Zachariah. I think it's time I answered Victor's constant attacks. I'm gonna need help, though. That's what family is for, Zachariah. We are family. United by the mutual suffering inflicted by Victor. His time to pay for all he's done has come. We are united in that.
Look, I'm not gonna tell you your business, cause I sure as shit wouldn't want you telling me mine, but... If you're gonna be asking your old comrades for help, I doubt they're gonna wanna do it if you're also banding with rebels, you know? Hello there, Zachariah. What do I have the pleasure? Well, now that you're asking, with Victor and the ASC after me, my only options are to keep running or retaliate. To retaliate, though, I need some allies. Well, given what you've done for me, and the fact that Victor and his not-so-secret police are at the root of the plague tearing abundance apart, you can count us among your allies, Zachariah. When you've got your next move planned, come and find me. We'll be ready whenever you are. Good to hear. See you soon. Zachariah, what? I need allies to fight Victor in the ASC. Then you came to the right place. The bastard came to our doorstep and threatened us. Sent thugs to capture one of our own who came in peace, seeking refuge. There's not a day that goes by that he doesn't grab and gain more power. The time's come to bring Victor down. You not only have me on your side, Mansa, but all of Noctis. Now that we are at full strength, we must devise a way to compromise Victor's popularity at the Assembly. I've got a lead. There's this grizzled old general who's been bitching about the lack of info he gets about Aurora. Right now, he's the only one with the balls to call Victor the dictator incompetent. According to him, the Aurora dowsers down Shit Creek and may have been booted off his post. If we can prove that General is right and isn't just some senile old man... Maybe the army's head honchos will be pissed enough at the colonel to kick his buns in the sun. And we would need hard evidence. I'm almost positive that Dandolo can help us. Not to send merchants everywhere, after all. We also have some connections with Technomancers over there. They should be able to tell us what I mean. We could try Anton. Aurora's a little far, but there's no place that's safe from Anton's little birds. It's a start. Even if abundance is run from the top down, members of the Assembly would pay attention to uprisings. Some of your local allies could help you stir up some anger in the masses. The ASC has made their lives miserable for months. People are arrested on a whisper, live huddled in fear. It would not take much to spark the powder keg. And some politicians would turn against Victor, so as not to lose voter support. Brilliant! We would need instigators, preferably those in touch with the people's needs. So I was thinking, the opposition would be the perfect organization to spearhead the revolts. The alternative, though I would be more hesitant, the Bori could likely produce the same results with different methods. Perfect. Other ideas? Back when I was an artist, I got into some altercations with assembly members who thought my shows were blasphemy. Maybe it was because I didn't say hail to the shadow 50 times. I can't say for sure. But if we could get them to think that Victor isn't a devout believer, we could get the large religious sect of the Assembly to revoke their support and demand his banishment. Or we could just give them a little nudge in the right direction by making them believe Victor steals relics for his own use. We'd have to stage an elaborate setup, but I like it. After all, the trickster must get what he gives. We'll need volunteers that can pretend to be ASC. The plan is right up Anton's alley. It's possible for Dandolo or the opposition to help us out, too. One last thing. I was told the High Judge endorses all of Victor's decisions, even though I know for a fact that he hates him. Which is more than a bit strange. The Judge is such an honest man. Or if you're in the mood to make a scandal, I've got everything we need. 
Did you know that Victor employs young women to worm out information on men he keeps tabs on? And I'm not Victor, but I have a feeling he used that info to blackmail these same men. If we can prove it, the Assembly would have a major meltdown. Their beloved Colonel, a pimp. To find evidence of his trafficking, we could look for the orders he gave his goons. Have you seen his hands? Far too immaculate to be doing this dirty work himself. If Anton's letting it happen on his territory, there's probably some kickbacks in it for him. So, since he's not gonna help us, we need to gather first-hand intel ourselves. I could start asking former prostitutes, but... Back in my days as an officer, I ran into a band of girls, and I think this exploited girls topic may interest them. Maybe enough for them to help us. Indeed. How's this? I've heard that a small faction of the Assembly blindly backs up Victor, no matter how crazy the project is. So I believe it almost certain that their chief of this faction was bribed. So unless we bribe him ourselves, we'll have to silence him. Yes, we should get to the bottom of this and see if it's serum, dirty laundry, or both. Anton probably knows. And if he is openly corrupt, the opponents of the Assembly should know him well. All these ideas will indeed cut off Victor from his support network. But This is going to sound self-interested, but if we could help the mutants escape from the pen, it would expedite the Colonel's downfall. The people and the Assembly would be outraged to know that after decades of civilized control, Victor was the one who couldn't keep them in check. I'd like to see the Colonel try to justify his mistake of so many slaves, particularly ones notorious for their feeble minds. No, it's not selfish. It's a good plan. We're gonna help mutants in the pen prepare their escape. After a mass breakout like that, his reputation will never be the same. Thank you, all of you, for the ideas. Now let's make them happen. <laughs>